Welcome everyone, here is how you use the swipe gesture navigation in Google Pixel 7. At the end I will cover how to change the swipe gestures into buttons if uh, you know, you're finding it too hard. So if I open up an app here and I go to a sub menu, let's say network and internet, you may notice we don't have a back button. So in order to go back, you're going to slide with your thumb from the far right hand side of the screen. Okay, so from the far right, you're going to slide left. You're going to see this little back icon. And when you see that icon, you just release your finger and you're going to go back. Okay. And so doing this full speed, you just do a little flick from the far right. Okay. And that will go back. You can also go back from the far left hand side, swiping to the right, if you would like to as well. Now, let's say I want to go home. In order to go home, you're going to flick and release where this black bar is, okay? So do a regular flick of motion with your thumb, and once you've done the motion, release your finger from the touch screen. So this is how it looks. Click release, boom, click release, click release, okay? As long as you're swiping from that bar at the bottom, you can see I'm going home every time. Now, in order to go to the multitasking, we're going to do that flick motion again. But instead of releasing immediately, like we've been doing, we're actually going to hold on the touch screen for a little bit, and then we're going to release. So this is going home, flick release. Now to go to multitasking, we're going to do a flick and hold, and then we're going to release, okay? And this time, we're brought to multitasking. So in order to break this down, to make it simple, when you flick and hold, the Google Pixel 7 is going to make a vibration. When you feel that vibration, that is your cue to release your finger from the touch screen, okay? So I'm going to flick and hold for the vibration and now release. So full speed, you can see very quickly accessing the multitasking, okay? Just like this, nice and fast. And if I want to go home, flick up, release. Multitasking, flick, hold, release. Very simple. It may take some time to get used to, so don't feel bad if you're having issues. And then in the multitasking, if we want to close out of an app, you just flick up where this app box is, okay? Just flick up, boom, and the app's closed. Now, if there are multiple apps open in the background, if we go to the multitasking, you can slide to the right, okay? Slide right until you're brought to the edge and you should have the clear all option. If you tap on this, this will clear out of all applications from the split screen multitasking. Finally, if you want to qu quickly switch between the applications you have opened up in the background, what you can do is you just slide, okay? Where this bar is, you're gonna slide to the right and to the left, and you, you do the same flick motion, like you're going home, you just do it to the side, okay? You can see I'm switching between all of the apps, just like so, okay? I'm easily switching across. Now, sometimes if the application is in landscape view, you can see the bar is here. So of course, in that case, you're swiping from this bar. You're not gonna swipe from here. You just swipe where the bar is, all right? And on top of this, some applications, you will not see the bar at all. If that's the case, you want to swipe up from the middle or swipe up from the bottom once, you will see the bar. And then once you see the bar, then you can do your motion, okay? So whether that's going home, or going to multitasking, or switching between apps, you can do that then. With that being said, thanks for watching. If this video helped you out and you need some Google Pixel 7 accessories, check out my Amazon affiliate link in the description. Click that link. If you buy anything from Amazon, Google Pixel 7 Pro accessories, literally anything, Okay, I'll get a small commission that Amazon usually takes. And yeah, bye-bye.